Is this your sale? It is. Um, has anybody claimed this exercise bike? Nope. Can I take it? Yep. Excellent. Thank you. Sure can. I'll probably um, back my car into the driveway if that's okay. Yeah, I think somebody if, else is backing in now, yeah, sure. so you might have to take I'll your wait. turn. When I when I go out, I'll make sure nobody's like actively in there before okay. I back in. Can you lift that? It's got wheels on the front. Oh, thank God. So yeah, I'll wheel it right out of here. Okay. Yeah, thank cool. you so much. I appreciate it. Do you have it. another movie? Do you have a clear hand? Yeah. I'll keep looking around. I'll probably buy oh, some stuff. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Right down the, the road, so I want to Oh, sorry. <laughs> now, I'm, now I'm pushing. <laughs> oh, you're fine. <laughs> Don't get pushy, guys. Just sell them. Is there a basement? The only thing in the basement is a gun cabinet, and if somebody asks for that specifically, I'll take them down there. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. Did you go to the car? No, not yet. I'll go out there now. Oh, my iPod.
like my birthday. <laughs> Fisher sale? Oh, no. Yeah. I've got this uh, okay. camera right here. Okay. And I'm gonna. Um, you got a camera for five. I'll get the bike. I'll back the car up. Okay. Once I make sure nobody's in the driveway. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Back at the shop, and it was pretty slim pickings at that estate sale. I did get this camera for five bucks. Uh, it's the Pentax IQ Zoom EZY. And even though this doesn't look like anything special, these go for about 40 bucks. These older point and shoots have really had a resurgence in the last few years, and I cannot figure out why. So if somebody knows why these are getting popular and gaining a little bit of value, please let me know. But yeah, these are the old uh, film cameras from like the late 90s, early 2000s. You know, you got to pop out this back here. I don't know if I'll be able to do it as I'm recording, but you pop out the back, put in film um, and all that, and then the battery goes right in here, I think. So keep an eye out for these. There's a lot of different brands that go for decent money. Some of them are going for like $100 plus if you get the right one, uh, but they're just very unassuming. They look like a junky old camera. So you can usually get them for really cheap. And uh, if they work, flip them for a nice profit. By far the best find at that sale was this Schwinn Airdyne bike. Schwinn made these for like 50 years. Um, it's solid metal. It's a really good bike. And I've even seen some of the ones from the 70s that are still kicking just because they made these things to last. But at some point, I don't know when it was, maybe five, ten years ago, they stopped making them like this. The wheel isn't as big and they put a lot of plastic parts on them. So the newer ones just aren't made to last like these. When I worked at Plating in Sports, we used to sell these things as fast as we could get them in. And we would generally get like $300 for them because knew they were selling for between like seven and $800, but... That's been a while since that's been the case. Nowadays, you can get between $100 and $200 for these. It's just a little harder to find a buyer for them just because I think most people don't know how good of a bike they are and most people aren't really looking for um, you know, an indoor bike. If they are, they want the Peloton or something like that. So if you find them cheap enough, pick them up. I do think there's a little bit of money to be made. Obviously, with this being free, I couldn't get it fast enough. And everything works on it. The display works on it. I was absolutely thrilled uh, to get this. And it's got wheels on the front, so I could just lift the thing up, wheel it right out, throw it in the back of my car, and it's good to go. That is it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs>